Jesus, he proclaimed that he is the bread from heaven. In proclaiming that he is the bread from heaven, Jesus was saying that those who come to him would never hunger. When you think about it, the bread that is of the world, it is Aden. We eat it and we consume it. In proclaiming that he's the bread from heaven, Jesus was essentially saying to us that we should come to him, that we should eat of him, and that we should consume him. The scripture for our lesson opens with the people who Jesus had just fed with just a couple pieces of fishes and bread the day before, searching for him. Scripture shows us that Jesus had sent the twelve away the evening before, and he himself had to retreat into the mountain away from the people. You see, the people, they had desire to force Jesus into being king. So overnight, Jesus, he walked on the sea to the disciples who had been out to sea fighting a storm as they were trying to cross over to the other side of the lake. So when the people woke up the next morning and they couldn't find Jesus after searching for him, they decided that they were going to make their way over to the other side of the lake to find Jesus. So when they reached the other side and found Jesus, they asked, when did you come here? Jesus, his response to them, it wasn't a bubbly response. He pointed out that they sought him out so that they could eat freely again. They had spent energy, all kinds of energy, searching all over for him just to see if he would give them more food to put into their bellies. So consider for a moment, why have you come to Jesus? Some of us, we come to Jesus because we believe that when we go to him, all of a sudden, magically, our problems will go away and life will get easier. Some of us, we come to Jesus because we believe that God will all of a sudden make us rich. And again, life will get easier and all of our problems will go away. We have to make sure that when we come to Jesus, that we are coming to him for the right reasons. We should not be so hung up on worldly riches as we are. As Jesus said, the bread of this world will pass away. So why be hung up on it? Jesus said that we should focus on that which endures to everlasting life. So the people, Jesus said, they were to focus on believing in him who the father had sent. They should be focused on Christ. So when Jesus said this to the people, they questioned his thoughts by saying their forefathers had already eaten manna, the bread that was of heaven given to them by God. This was certainly true as God again had supplied manna to the children of Israel to physically sustain them while they were wandering in the wilderness. However, as we know, the soul cannot live off of worldly sustenance. In order for our soul to live, we have learned today that we need to consume the word of God. We need to consume the bread from heaven. As Jesus has said to us before, man cannot live by bread alone. We cannot live by the riches that are of this world. For our soul to live, we need the word of God. We need God himself. Again, when we consume him, when we consume his bread, when we consume his word, it becomes a part of us. It sustains us. And from that, we grow. From that, we live.